Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So yesterday we talked all about how we have the, time, the, the countdown timers now are contact specific, um, and that is awesome and amazing. We do so, so, so many cool things with it. But today let's talk about the fact that we can also now use those new contact specific timers in funnels, websites, and the email builder. So um, without further ado, let's watch this video actually, very well done by the team. So essentially, whoop, hold on, did I do this right? Okay, cool. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go into countdown timers under marketing, we're gonna create a new timer. Um, this is pretty easy. This is the way you would do it normally. Let's just say we use that template. We're gonna go in and we're gonna set this to a dynamic timer, which is what we talked about yesterday. See that right there? We're gonna set the, uh, when the timer ends. And then uh, by default, it's set to uh, be true when an email is sent. We're gonna name it up here at the top. We're gonna name it product, I think they meant product sales. Yeah, they name it product sales. Okay, so now boom, that's it. We've got a timer that's fantastic. So let's go use it. Uh, so we're gonna bounce on over in this case. Let's see, where are we going? <laughs> uh, let's see, I think this is, oh, okay, perfect. This is a funnel. So we're gonna hit add element and then we're gonna go down to countdown timers. And then there's the product sales one we just created. So we're literally gonna just drag and drop it. And, and notice, by the way, they did such a great job here. You can tell it's dynamic because it's uh, listed as dynamic. What's the other option? There's a fixed, right? Because maybe we have a fixed date that we don't care who you are, but if you arrive before the date, great. If not, that's cool too, versus a dynamic one that's contact specific. So we're gonna drag and drop this out on the funnel. And what that means is when I, Sean, come and land on this funnel, it's actually gonna know who I am and it's gonna show me my timer relative to, to the actual countdown for me versus somebody else is gonna see their specific uh, countdown for them. So let's watch this, I think, in action. Um, so they're gonna save it, and then we're gonna hit preview as a way to see this. And because it's tagged to me, it's gonna know in that case that it's it's you. Now, normally the way this works, right, is um, you would, this will all be based on like things like maybe I get uh, I get an email with it in it and I start, and maybe that's what, when it's triggered and I click on the email and then I go to the website and then I see the site and the, and the email and the timer in the email and the timer on the website now match, right? And then let's say uh, like whatever, let's say I've got three days to take action. I come back tomorrow and I just go to the website. I don't have to click on the email. It's gonna automatically know, hey, look, you don't have, one day and uh, or three days and five hours left, you got two days and five hours left, right? So it's dynamic to that person versus if they send that over to somebody else, it, it would be totally different. So anyways, that is very, very cool. And again, uh, you saw kind of how to do this in the video, but you go in the email builder, you go in the funnel builder, website builder, you drag and drop it in and it's just that simple and it works. So anyhow, on that note, I hope you're having an awesome Wednesday and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.